Hey guys, in this video, what I plan to do is actually use 4,500 mallets or more um, in the egg frenzy event now that it is Easter, Easter weekend, um, to see if it's worth it and what I actually get in the end. So first I went and I actually bought all of the mallets that you could get for two days. And so each one of those, just for doing the math, the most you can get in one day is worth 125 USD. And so I've, I've spent, um, I believe that's it. I've spent about 250, it's actually a little bit less. It's, yeah, no, no, right at 250. 250 USD to be able to do this and you get those from the limited uh, daily for this event so now I'm gonna go ahead and spend so looking at the way that this works there are specific things that I want and they're all of course here in the rare right and so you can pick which rewards you get from a given set but in the beginning, you start with these value um, prizes and you have to use at least 90 hammers. Well, I'm sorry, you have to use uh, 120 hammers to add to appearances of this. And this is the one that I want because I want to see how I'm able to kind of rank, rank up this um, here. I'm going to show you what, I, what I'm looking for here in the new um, Star Palace here. I want to be able to rank these up <clears throat> because I haven't spent anything on these. Uh, very, very, very little. So I want to do something that it gives me more stats. And so that's why I'm doing this. So that's my goal. I'm going to go ahead. So to pick different sets that you're going on, which are along here on the bottom, right? You can use this uh, refresh here and it'll pick a different one. You're limited in the beginning of what you can actually get. Also pay attention to the rewards across the top. So you'll get you'll get some, some things here. So I'll at least be able to get um, you know, some additional items. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is not something I want. I wanna be able to maybe start off with Let's see if I can get some gems. That would be cool. Let's see, I may not get lucky there. Let's see what I get. <clears throat> All right, I'll go with this, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Go the way through. So now I got the one that I actually wanted here with some some gems in it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go through that. Now I've gone over 90 gems, I should be able to get some of the better items that I'm looking for. Okay, and this is actually one of the ones I wanted. See if I can spin this and get get to something I want. I, th I would say the hardest part of this event is getting prize pools that you actually want items from, so that you don't waste all of your mallets. Win, 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 win. I'm 
You are gonna spend some gems here to get through this. Okay, keep on going. This is gonna take a while. Is there a way to do this quicker? God, this could take a long time to go through 4,000 if I'm having to do it this way. some of these rewards real quick. of gems a ton of gems being spent where it's kind of goofy to have to do this It would be nice if it at least told you what your possibilities were. You know, sit there and spin on these um, value rewards. Let's not get two additional rare, but where are they? Hey, spend another 10,000 gems to get a chance. There's a rare one. And I don't care about that one. Let's see if we get over to a rare one again. Kind of bad if you can't you you have to go through all of this to be able to get the stuff that you actually want to spend on so you end up wasting so many gems i've got a lot and i don't care at this point but i could see if you were you know you were specifically looking for something and you didn't want to blow all of your gems on an event on a uh, spending event this might not be the best way to do this. It's probably a lot better to just go through and pick these out. Of, of course, it's gonna be much better for getting items to go with the, the lower impacts, like the 299, 499, up to 999 maybe. And just take your time, you know, get them when they're, when they're available. 
than you'll ever get in any of the event because all of the events and you end up spending more to get what you want out of them the the one qualifier there is on these events a lot of times you'll have the opportunity to get uh, some garden in the sky items or some you know additional rewards that you wouldn't normally be able to get you just have to weigh for yourself um, if it the additional items are worth the additional expenditure that you'll have to, to get what you want and it seems like on this event you you get um, and I'm gonna get down to the point where I'm not gonna have any times remaining I'm still over 3,000 mallets left. Hey, two additional rare. I'm gonna run out of uh, the ability to refresh here soon. There's a rare, not really rare. I'm gonna quickly just run out of, of mallets. I'm not a mallets of, of these times remaining. That's what I'm worried about now. What a waste. But I guess if I was doing this multi like once a day, I would be able to get to um, I wouldn't run out of, of all of these. And so I'm doing it all and trying to do it all in one single day. The refresh on the times remaining won't happen for me. Oops. There we go. That's what I really wanted. Done here. Almost done with refreshes too. stuck with because I can't refresh and it won't even just go to the next one for me I'm stuck with 1442 mallets so definitely don't do this on the last day or you could be really in trouble so let's see what I actually got out of this <clears throat> other than 1442 mallets I did get some burstone crystals which I didn't really want I got some fragments, which I didn't need too many. I got some relics, that's good. And I got some Titan Crystal, a lot less than I would have hoped for. 
honestly with the amount spent that's not too too much stuff I didn't really need the beast elements not bad and this is what I wanted so let's go spin these so if I go in here and I want to evolve these I guess let me see so what I want to do is I want to balance these out here 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 and that's it I can do some upgrades but honestly it's not gonna be too much that we get from this I don't think not bad There we go. So, we got some some stats that are decent here. Since I started with nothing, that's good. So, is it worth it? I would say no. I would say no because, as you saw, when you're when you're doing it you don't get to to pick the stuff that you really want every time you're gonna have to get some stuff that you don't want to be able to get a chance to get the things that you do want even though you spent the coins to get stuff that you want <laughs> you're basically throwing those away on some things that you, you didn't want so and then the overall like rewards that you get are seem to be pretty low and, I mean, if you look at the the pools here, uh, if you could get this every single time, I would have been happy because then I would have been, I would be able to, like my goal here with this money that I spent was to raise up the Ursula and the Perseus Star Palace. And I did a little bit of that, but for the amount spent, starting at zero, I would have expected more. So that's that's one thing you have to think about in the beginning, the, the spending is easy, right? It's whenever you get it up, you want to get higher. Like in the very beginning, like for example, let's do one real quick. So here, Elder, I don't think I've spent anything at all on this. So if I go through and I have 45 here, so I don't even know if anything's available. Yeah, but uh, maybe this is a bad thing. Let's see if I do this. This and this. Let's go here. Let's get a ten. Let's get a ten. There we go. So that's kind of a balanced spending for the forty-five. So if I go over here, my initial upgrades for this for that forty-five dollars is ends up being really good. So I'm able to see some real differences in my in my stats. So that's that's great. Where you get into trouble is whenever you want. Okay, now what do you do next? How do you raise up your your um, your stats more? Like beyond that, you get to a point where to go up one or two. Uh, stat points is gonna cost you a lot it's gonna be very expensive so here okay let's see how much I can get out of this oh my goodness how do I get to get this Unlocks at Titan Tier 1, Titan Iron Fist. So I'm not even be able to get any stats at all, really. I don't, oh, okay, here we go. Okay. So from that, I got, from that 40 dollars that I just spent 45 
I was able to get the Titan itself was doing damage, uh, does some more damage than it would have at zero, obviously, or at one. Uh, the and I was able to get HP for my for this character would be Cab by 6.6 percent, which is decent, right? For 45, because when you look later on. To get one point or two points might cost me a hundred to do it. So in the beginning, it's relatively easy to gain your stats, some stats with not a lot of money. It's whenever you, in that same item, try to raise it up. So like here in the Colossus, would I, I mean, I would be able to get a point seven percent for all of the titan crystals that i that i got in that event or let's say a i'm gonna go from i'm gonna get 0.6 reduction in the damage that we take from mages so and that's it so um yeah there you have it do i think that this event is worth spending a lot of money on? No. If if there's something you need, especially in the value side, it might be worth it. Uh, obviously, do the the events that you can do. So get these that you can get for free by doing stuff that you would normally do in the game, like killing monsters, you know, using beast XP, that sort of thing. And just to get free mallets and then use those free mallets to 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 get some prizes that you can that's the way that I would do it if you're gonna spend spend I don't spend on that um, I, don't, I don't think that one's worth it if you're gonna spend and I would prefer to go into here and get something that you really need like a artifact fragment or none of that none of that artifact fragment probably from there would be worth it there you go some fragments uh, you know spend on again like I like I said in the budget video spend where you're gonna get the most uh, stat increase from this one's not bad at all here to, to get these uh, fire demon crown fragments anyway I hope this helps and talk to you again soon take care